Hey guys, this is Connie. Um, got a couple hauls for you today, and I'm going to do some lip swatches for you. But first, I wanted to, to tell you about what I'm wearing today. I uh, posted pictures on Facebook, if any of you watch me on Facebook. And this morning with uh, one with my daylight bulb, which I have on right now, and one with um, out in my living room window with um, direct sunlight to kind of show you the difference. And um, so then right after that, I went to lunch with my mom. We went and had Chinese food. This is my lipstick after lunch. I have not reapplied it. It looks awesome still. Um, it's not... You know, it's a little bit patchy, but really not bad at all. Um, I, I can stand this at all. This is Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Suede in color 085, and this is what it looks like. And I have had this for quite some time. I, I don't know how old it is, honestly, but I will be buying more of these because I love the staying power. When you first put it on, it's very creamy. It's not, you know, tug at your lips matte or anything like that. And then, after just a little bit, it gets kind of sticky right before it dries. And then once it dries, this is it. Um, so, I recommend this, this lipstick. Then I'm wearing the Kardashian Beauty uh, it's the ombre blush in torch then I'm wearing um, which I haven't worn in quite some time it's a physician's formula um, sexy booster and it is a um, I did my un, my under eyes and my tight line with this eyeliner it's just like a crayon type which I love then I'm wearing my e.l.f. Uh, Volume Plumping Mascara, my uh, Magic Lumi Primer. Uh, this, I think, is time to be going the garbage. I am just not such a, a huge, huge fan of CoverGirl stuff anymore. Um, I mean, there's a few things I really like, like the Ready, Set, Gorgeous line. I love that. But this is the... Uh, this is CoverGirl Plus Olay Eye Rehab 2-in-1. It's Brightening Concealer and Hydrating Serum. It was very smeary, so it's time to go in the garbage, I believe. I've had this probably three years or so, so it's time to go in the garbage. Um, as you can tell, it's not used a ton either, but I just, I'm not crazy about it anymore, so I think it's time to go. So goodbye. Bye-bye. I'll put it up here so I can list my stuff. Then the next two, I the last two items that I got um, that I wore today, I got off of a um, makeup buy and sell site on Facebook, and I bought these. This here is almost full. It's the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream, and it's got a broad spectrum SPF 30, and it is in vanilla too. And that's what I'm wearing today for foundation. Um, I used, you have to be careful about this because I used too much. And so it was smeary. Um, I used my, uh, my sponge and I dabbed it on. I kind of pressed it in. And then um, when I was done, then I kind of used my fingers to smooth it out because, uh, like I said, I had a little bit too much on. So you have to be careful about how much you use. But otherwise, I think the color is pretty good for my complexion. So, and the last thing that I, I, I ordered two things from this lady. And I tell you what, I ordered them two days later, they were here. And they were bubble, but bubble wrapped so well. I am extremely impressed. Um, I will definitely buy from this lady again. But the next thing I got is something I have been coveting forever. And it is Becca Opal. If I can get it open. I'll try to open the wrong side. And it is used. You can see that. But there's still a lot in there. 
but it's so pretty. I have it on my cheeks, I have it on my cupid's bow, and down my nose. Just so beautiful. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that in this light or not. But anyway, that is my first haul. My second haul is a bunch of lipsticks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I got five lipsticks. And what my plan is, I'm going to wear one a day to work this week. I'm going to take a picture or film or something before I go to work. Um, after I apply, before I go to work. Then I'm going to do it um, before lunch, which is five hours in. And then after lunch. Um, and then when I get home. So I'll have four pictures of me with this lipstick on, or not with this lipstick on. We're going to see. Most of these are mattes, so we're going to see how they work during the day. So anyway, I'm going to take this lipstick off. I'm going to scooch you in here. Come on here. If I can get this set up right. My camera doesn't want to. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm not used to moving my camera much. So that looks pretty good. I wanted to take all my makeup off, too, but oh well. See, I still have a little bit of stain. Okay, so the first one is uh, Jordana, and I thought this was kind of dry when I tried it on last night. Uh, Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in, I have no idea, Matte It Girl, uh, number 08. This is what it looks like. I tried to get kind of mauve colors because that's kind of what I'm loving right now. Come on. There we go. All right, here we go. Um, actually, I'm going to use my Becca mirror so I can get in a little bit closer here because I cannot see that far away. See, this one pulls. It's very dry. Very, very dry. But this is it. <laughs> All right. So then I'll put this one away, take it off. And I am sorry that I don't know how to um, edit this. But also, I have a question for you ladies with the just the regular video cameras my camera is sitting behind my desk so of course I have to reach way in to to shut it off or to um, zoom in or zoom out do you guys have a button or something that you push beside you that zooms in and out I've seen some of you do it so effortlessly how do you do that for me it I mean you know what I'm doing when I'm doing it because you know. Okay, the next one, I'm taking up too much time. The next one is a Wet n Wild, and it is color 51350 in Ready to School. Oh, Ready to Swoon, sorry. And I don't know if this is their mat or if this is their. I, I'm not real sure. So anyway, here we go. This one is um, definitely more corally, but oh, shoot. 
for my aunt. This is this one. Definitely creamy and um, shimmery. All right, let's take my lipstick off on this one. Some people do lipstick swatches so nicely, and here I go. Hey, it's real, folks. All right, the next one is my least favorite. This is a Fergie Wet n Wild Vicious Varnish Highlight High Shine Lip Stain, and it is A305 Legendary Face. And this is what it looks like. I do not like this applicator at all. When I did when I put this on last night, just to try it out. It's very gloopy. Um, very wet. Okay, so I'm just going to go like this. Okay. That's it for that one. And there's a taste with that one, too, that I'm not loving at all. It's pretty. It's a pretty color. It's it's mauve-y. Um, I like a little bit darker mauve, but this is okay. More of a nudie mauve, I guess. Okay. Two more. This one is also a Wet n Wild, and this is their matte, I can tell already. And this one is 907C Mauve out of here. And I think I already have this one, to tell you the honest truth. But that's okay, because I love this color. And these are from Walgreens, if I didn't say that already. Very creamy going on. This is actually just a little bit pink for my taste. And I think for my skin tone, it's a little bit pink. What do you guys think? See, it looks a lot more pink on camera, on my camera, than it does in person. Um, but I still think it's a little bit pink. But this is very creamy when it goes on. Um, now, I haven't had any of these on long enough to tell how matte they get. You know, you got to let them sit for a little bit. And I don't really have time, I don't figure, when I'm on camera. So I will do that this week. I'm going to wear one a day. And we will see. And I don't know if I'll do a video or if, I do, if I'll do like a Instagram, uh, Facebook type deal or what. One more. And I just, I love mauve lipsticks. But um, like this last one I just put on, I like it a little bit more, less pink, if you know what I mean. I go towards, the mauves that I like are kind of in the middle, not a brown mauve and not a pink mauve, just right in the middle, brownish pink. Let's put it that way, brownish mauvey pink. Okay, my last is a Kate by Rimmel. And it is D D D D 104. Lasting Finish by Kate lipstick is what it says. Oh, I'm just trying to see if there is a 
There is no name on this. It's just 104, I guess. All right. And this one is more like it. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. And it is so creamy. And this is matte also. See, this one here is more my perfect shade, I think. What do you guys think? You tell me, one through five, which one was your favorite? One was the Jordana, two was the Wet n Wild, like this one, uh, three was the Fergie by Wet n Wild, four was the Wet n Wild Matte, and five was the Kate uh, Matte by Rimmel. All right. That is very creamy. I love that. Um, I think out of all of them, this is my favorite. The Kate. The one I'm wearing. Okay, I have one more haul for you. And I'm excited because I have not looked at it. It's my first... Ooh! Lipstick all over everything. My first ColourPop. I ordered just a couple of things. And I will do a swatch for this too. I'm sorry, this is going to be a little long, I think. It's already 16 minutes. I should have made two videos. And I still might. All right. They looks like they have things really... They had these on sale. You know what? I'm going to do a separate video because I have a few different things that I want to show you. So, I will talk to you very soon. I love you guys. I guess I could could have moved you out, huh? See what I mean about this stupid... Where I have to... I mean, you see my underarm fat every time I go up to it. <laughs> Bye. I love you guys.